Hi there, Pablo here. Welcome to this new update as part of the Ultimate Coder Challenge, an online competition organized by Intel and Microsoft that we've been a part of. Um, we've been developing a virtual reality application called Zenva Sky, and uh, it is the world's first app to teach coding in virtual reality. Um, so this is the last week of the competition. We will obviously continue working on the app, but I wanted to give you a quick uh, round up what we've been up to the last eight weeks. You might have seen some of our previous updates. Um, so you can read, if you want to read our, our progress, we have written um, weekly updates and I'll put the link in the description. So that includes our whole process, how we started with one idea and then sort of pivoted into another idea. Uh, so I think that's quite interesting if you're developing products just to see how sometimes you need to change direction in the middle. Um, the first idea that we had was to create, uh, let's see where it is, to create an environment, um, here it is, an environment that where people would interact with objects in virtual reality. So for example, you had a cube, you were able to point at the cube in virtual reality and say, okay, I want this cube to move or uh, rotate in a certain amount. So we created this simple environment where you could kind of code elements around you. But we quickly realized after testing this ourselves and trying with other people that um, it became overly complex. So we kind of pivoted to another idea, which was that you would be inside of a robotic vehicle um, coding instructions for that robotic vehicle. So you would say, you know, move, move, activate this Boolean variable so that a door will open. So you had to kind of code your path uh, to the exit or to the goal. And that actually worked really well because you were inside the vehicle and you can see some of our previous videos where we show footage of this mechanic and you get, got to sort of code your, your solution across different challenges. Um, what we did next, once we had this gameplay narrowed down and properly scoped, we actually created a, a really nice world, uh, which I'll show you here. It's a donut, the donut world, we're calling it. It's a big donut it was created in virtual reality in Oculus Medium. Um, so that contains all the levels that we developed. And what we did this last week was to work on the onboarding process. Now, as you know, first impressions are super important. What we often see at Zemba is that whenever we have a bug or an issue with any of the front facing pages or the login flow or anything like that, user engagement goes to zero and sales stop altogether because things need to work well from the start. So we started working on that onboarding experience on that tutorial and that is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so the application starts and uh, these two characters come to you. Now if you have been in any courses at Samba, you might recognize them. They are just placeholders for now. They come from Magic of Oxel, a really cool tool that we use. Um, so they introduce themselves and you kind of say hello. They tell you that they need the friend. They need you to rescue their friend who's, gonna, who's trapped in the center of the donut. Um, and they tell you that to rescue their friend, you need to solve these uh, coding challenges. You need to unlock all of the security locks. And they will now teach you how to use the robot. Now, the robot is that thing there. We are working on the final model. It's going to be a really cool mech robot. But um, what happens then is that you are taken to the uh, robot. And this is where the tutorial experience will take place. So the characters will uh, be near you and they will be showing you what to press and how to control the robot. So after you complete that first onboarding experience, um, you will be taken to the donut world where you will start with the first challenge and then as you complete more challenges the characters will be there with you and they will like let's look at one of these challenges for instance the characters will be there with you and they will explain what everything is and, w and when new commands are added they will also show you how to use those commands so that is all for this week. Stay tuned. Uh, we will be uh, publishing more updates in our YouTube channel and also on our blog, Game Dev Academy. So stay tuned and I see you next time.